Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We're here at Lazy Acres, which is the Angels Lost and Found. Today, we're going to take a look at a 2023 Crossroads Zinger, model number 331BH, three slides, two bedrooms, two baths, wood frame, aluminum skin, weighing around 8,900 pounds. This one's about to get locked up for attempted awesomeness. I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brendan Hannemeyer on the camera today. Say hello, Brendan. How's it going, happy campers? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. It's not often that you find a wood frame trailer with three slides and two bathrooms. This one's pretty sweet. We have a like button, we have a subscribe button. Please hit that, it's completely free to subscribe. We're on Instagram, we're on TikTok, we're on Facebook and the comment section's open. And honestly guys, really subscribe because we're almost at 5,000. I'm really excited about that. This is almost a fifth wheel floor plan dropped into a travel trailer, right? This, this, is a, this is a beast for sure. Front power jack, 20 pound per paint tanks, battery and box location there with your battery disconnect in through there. The front looks like it's fiberglass, but it is aluminum skin there at the front. Look at the width at our pass through storage in through here. Very impressive. Very impressive. We're prepped up on the roof there for a solar panel. We got our outside shower, our fresh water fill, our Second black water flush. These stickers are in the wrong spot. Fresh water fill, black water flush kit, city water connection, six gallon gas electric water heater, outside furnace vent right through here, rack and pinion style slides, pulling our living room off the floor and then pulling our secondary bedroom off the floor. As we wrap down the back side here, Brendan, our sewer drain is underneath this slide. We're 30 amp service. Full size spare. We're gonna put that beautiful Lazy Acre tire cover on there for you. We've got our, our roof ladder, so I want you up on your roof checking your seals every 90 days. Four stabilizer jacks, one on each corner, and they're all electric, including that front power jack. We got our two burner stove top, our sink that's plumbed in, finished off in through here with galvanil. There's also a nice little light there with a receptacle, and then our two and a half cubic foot electric fridge, pop down piece in through here. Now we have great travel access to our secondary bathroom. So the kids bathroom, they can come up and in through here. You can use this off the side of the road. Awesome possum. Our outside awning, they're always outside. Starts right here. Covers our kitchen slide. All right, we got the nice three-step entrance all the way to the ground. Lend a hand, grab handle. I don't know if you caught it, Brandon. There's also a secondary black water flush right beside our outside shower, our outside uh, kitchen in through there. And then right here is just the other side of our pass-through. Outside speakers, LED lights in the awning. Let's have a look inside. Right on, folks. We're inside that Zinger 331. A lot to cover on this one. Through there is our bedroom and our secondary bathroom. We're in our kitchen living. And then to your right is where our main bathroom is and the bedroom is. So right here is where you can put a TV across from our couch, which is convenient. Sound bar right through here. Open storage there. Built-in fireplace. That's awesome. Into our kitchen space, we have our eight cubic foot gas electric fridge. I do offer you a 12 volt option here if you want. Pardon me. Oh, slip through. Golly. <laughs> We're choking down that awesomeness. We got plates and cup action right through there. Microwave range hood, glass stove top cover. Flip this over, turn it into a back stop or a, what do you call that? Back splash. Blue lights in through there. Oven down below with a light in it. Pop down piece in through there for uh, uh, drawers and stuff, or sorry, for um, pots, uh, and pants. pots and pans. Thank you, Brendan. Done a few videos already this morning. We're running out of words, Brendan. <laughs> we got nice seamless countertops in through here. I really like this island. There's it's open space right through here, so you have like stools, have kids sit up in through here, eat their breakfast. We got undermount stainless steel sink. All right, a pull out faucet, nicely finished off uh, countertop inserts. And then we got covered space around this side of the island, Brendan, for garbage can or cycling, that kind of thing. Then behind me, it, it kind of continues, right? Because I would assume this would be your uh, pantry space for the kitchen. All right, you got switches for everything in through there. Our main bathroom's through here. Some more storage in through there. And then a big U-shaped dinette. I really like the way they mount the table on through here. The pole goes right to the ground and it clips to the dinette. We got storage in underneath the dinette like so. Same thing on the other side. And then a bifold style couch in through here. We can turn it to a secondary bed. Pop this down. Brandon. What? There is stools, buddy. No way. Yeah, man. Look at that. 
two stools. That's awesome and through there. Fantastic. Here at the back, we're into our secondary bedroom. We're gonna get to the main bedroom here shortly. Bunk right in through here, it folds up out of the way. There is a light in the bunk and a window. Pop that up. We've got our uh, jackknife style sofa right through here with a trundle bed here underneath it. Light again, USBs, and we got a big back window. Storage in through here with receptacles and a lot more storage here across from those bunks. Open storage there for shoes and such. Put a TV here if you want. Cupboard space there. And another wider bunk in through here. I feel like they're both wide, which you don't often see, right? Like usually it's a skinny bunk and a skinny bunk or a skinny bunk and a wide bunk. These are both wide bunks, which is great. Here is our washroom, our secondary washroom. Porcelain toilet, B. There we go. On a secondary washroom and a zinger. Love to see that. Cupboard space there. Access from the outside in. Medicine cabinet. The dump truck fits. Sink in through there. And then nice door here separating the bedroom, so the bathroom, and then separating the bedroom off with a pocket style door. Coming through the living space, Brendan. Into our main bathroom. We've got a porcelain toilet here too. Lots of open space for the dump truck to fit. Lots of storage in through here too. Into the shower. I'm six feet tall. Your boy Josh fits. I'm wearing cowboy boots and everything. I fit in through here. Nice radius style glass doors. Sink. Cupboard. And another medicine cabin right here for all your drug. Then into the bedroom. That's a 60 by 74 inch queen. Hanging storage on both sides there, Brendan. Open storage across the top, lights on both sides, receptacles on both sides, and USBs over on the right side there with some storage here underneath the bed. So we have access to that from the bottom side too. Nice blue lights down there too. Very nice. That's the video, folks. Hit the like button, the subscribe button to hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have yourself a good day.